Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Often when managing a project, you will have a grouping of related tasks that create a larger task. You can group these lower level tasks, which are often linked together, into a larger task, which is often called a phase or summary task. The summary task, or phase, consists of the various tasks that must be completed in order to finish that part of the project. In this lesson, we will examine how to indicate a phase within a project file by using summary tasks. First, you must create a task that is placed above the various subtasks within the phase. You do not need to set a duration for this task, as it is a summary task, and that means that its duration is calculated by the sum value of the durations of its subtasks. Simply name the task whatever you want the phase to be titled, and then save the task. Note that you may need to insert a new task above the first subtask in the phase in order to enter your summary task. To insert a new task above another task, click the task above which you want to insert a new task, and then click the Insert Task button that appears in the Insert group on the Task tab in the ribbon to insert a new task above the selected task. You can then select the new blank task and type the name of the phase or summary task into the selected cell. Next, select the tasks below the summary task that make up the individual subtasks within the phase. Once these have been selected, you can click the Indent Task button that appears in the Schedule button group on the Task tab in the ribbon. The selected tasks will then be grouped as subtasks below the summary task or phase. Note that the duration of the phase or summary task has then been entered as being the duration of the related subtasks. You can also create a summary task by clicking into a blank task row and then simply clicking the Summary button that appears in the Insert group on the Task tab in the ribbon. Project will insert a new summary task and its first subtask into the project file for you. You can then simply enter the names of the tasks. Now note that when you wish to create a new primary task that is not part of a summary task, you will need to enter the name for the task and then simply click the Outdent Task button that appears in the Schedule button group on the Task tab in the ribbon in order to remove the selected task from the summary above. Also note that you can link summary tasks together to note sequential phases in a larger project if desired. You can also link the start of a summary task to the completion of the last subtask in the previous phase if desired. Now the scheduling of the tasks is performed by Microsoft Project the same either way. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.